you're trying to figure out how you can create soft and natural looking curls, but there's so many tutorials out there and they go so fast with very little explanation. So today I am going to show you how I curl my hair with the Babyliss Pro one and a half inch barrel. This is my favorite iron to use in the salon and it's my favorite one to use at home as well. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Lauren, professional hairstylist. You may know me from my Instagram, Lauren Francis Hair. This is Clark, he didn't want to nap today, so we are making the best of it. But don't worry, we will not be using a hot iron with an infant. Okay, so the two products that I'm gonna be using are by Daviness. This is a dry texture spray. And then also there, this is a medium hairspray. Okay, so I'm starting with day two blow-dried hair. If you know me, you know my hair is curly and frizzy, so I actually blow-dried it a few days ago. And so this is my day two hair. You don't necessarily want your hair to be extremely dirty. I always hear that in all of these tutorials. You want super dirty hair when you're curling your hair. That's not true. If it's too oily, it's gonna weigh it down and the curls are not gonna stay. So day two hair, but not extremely oily hair. If you are starting from extremely clean hair, you may want to rough it up just a little bit with product. So the product that I would use to kind of give it a little bit of grip for the curl to hang on to is the Daviness. This is a dry um, texture spray. So if you're using this, you're just gonna kind of pull it up at the roots and spray. Just a little bit, it doesn't need much. And again, if your hair is clean, just go ahead and do a light coat throughout your entire hair. So there's a couple different ways you can go about sectioning. If you're seasoned and you're doing this every single day and you're kind of used to your own hair by now, I would just start in the front and then work your way back and just kind of feeling which sections need to be done as you go back. If that's too difficult for you, go ahead and part your hair half up, half down, start at the bottom, work your way up and save the front for last. Because if you start and get all your mistakes out on the bottom, then your front pieces are gonna look the best. That's what I always tell my clients. So today I'm gonna start from the front and just work my way back. So I'm gonna let you speed up this video according to your needs. I feel like there's so many tutorials out there where they are making them so quick and you can't really see exactly what's going on. So you're gonna see me make a few mistakes. You're gonna see me stumble a little bit and just watch me work through it. So I'm gonna do this real time and if it gets boring, you can go ahead and speed it up yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the front right here and I'm kind of just pulling this section that where the hair naturally kind of starts to recede. On mine, it's right about here. So from the wherever your part is to where the hair naturally starts to recede. So I always kind of see with my fingers, I kind of groom the section a little bit. That makes it so you don't get any kinks and tangles when you're curling and it's all very smooth. So I want to make sure to put the barrel behind the section like this because we're curling away from the face, always by the face. So behind the section, and I'm just going to do like a little bit of a half turn. That way this, this piece right here, this clamp, doesn't kind of give you a little ridge mark in there. So I'm gonna do a little half turn before I clamp down. I'm gonna pull forward and continuously release as I go down on that last section. I'm just gonna kind of tap it through. Okay, so I'm gonna take another piece and I'm just kind of feeling my sections as I go back. The way that I pick my sections is I'm just making sure that, like for example, this right here is such a wide section and it kind of takes from different parts of the head shape. So I'm just gonna kind of reduce that a little bit and it's, they're about like one inch sections. So I'm using my thumb and my forefinger to just constantly release, little tiny taps to release. And sometimes if your hair is super thin, you don't even really need to release at all, you just need to kind of loosen it a little bit. So it's still clamped down, but you're just kind of loosening it. If you have really thick hair, you might need to tap, tap, tap. If you have thinner hair, just release, 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 where you can barely hear it. Okay, so I'm making sure to put the barrel behind the piece so that I am curling away from the face. And I'm continuing to twirl, use my thumb and forefinger to continue to release. And then on the very last section, I'm pulling through. And then every once in a while, I like to curl a section toward the face. It's not necessary, but it kind of gives it a little bit of volume and lift if you do that, because then all the curls aren't going the same way and kind of twirling around each other. So last time we put the barrel behind the section, this time we want to put the barrel in front of the section like this. And I'm going to use the same principles, just kind of release, release, release. Kind of let it out a little bit, and then at the bottom, tap, tap, tap. Okay. 
And notice I'm not holding the iron in there for any long period of time. I do have the iron set on the highest heat, but I'm not holding it there for a long period of time, so that's how I'm preventing damage. I do want the high heat though, because that's what's gonna make it stay the longest, but I'm not holding it there. So if you're new and you're you know, having a little bit of trouble with um, kind of getting used to your hands when you're curling your hair, make sure that you have it on a lower setting, because if you're holding it there in a long time, you will damage your hair. But see how I'm just kind of releasing, 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 nothing's staying on there for a really long time. And just for fun, I'll take this one and go the opposite direction. So that means the barrel goes in front of the section, remember? And if you take a bigger section, you might want to hold it for just a few seconds longer. Smaller sections, don't hold it as long. And so I'm almost done with a whole half of my head right now. You don't have to take super tiny sections. We just kind of want to create a really loose, natural looking wave slash curl. Also, it kind of helps if I explain to you where I am placing my hands to. So my right hand is holding the curling iron and I'm using my thumb and my forefinger as I twist. So twist, 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 tap, tap, twist, 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 tap, tap with the thumb. Twist, 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 tap, tap with the forefinger. Twist, 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 tap, tap with the thumb. Okay, so I start with the forefinger. I don't even know if that, I'm saying that right. Forefinger, pointer finger, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so place it behind the section. Little half turn, clamp down, and continue to release. And then this hand goes here to kind of control it. Like if I just do it with one hand, I can do that, but it helps me kind of move the iron in between my fingers if I use this other hand down here to help twist. And I'm just gonna do this whole chunk in one section. So because it's a little bit bigger section, it's underneath, I don't mind taking a bigger piece, but I am gonna hold it just for a little bit longer just to make sure it stays. And then also notice how I'm not immediately raking my fingers through my curls. And that's because I want to allow the curls to set before I do that, otherwise it won't last quite as long. You wanna make sure they kinda of set into their style and the only way to do that is letting them cool down first. Okay, so I just finished this entire half of my hair and now I'm gonna move on to this section and I'll just spray it a little bit with, this is a medium hairspray from Dominus real quick. So that's this one. Um, so that while it's setting and cooling, and just a really light layer, so that while it's setting and cooling, it kind of is another protection against it falling out. Okay. So I want to keep all these curls in the front to just help me make sure I stay organized. So I'm going to take this hair, or this front piece like I did on the other side, and then move the rest of this hair to the back. So I have three sections without having to clip. Okay, and then same principles. You want to make sure the barrel is behind, even when you're on the other side. So I, however you have to hold it to do that, that's what you want to make sure you're doing, is having the barrel behind the section. And tap, tap, tap through the ends. Okay, grab this big section back here, pull out another piece, put it back behind you. That way you can stay organized without using a ton of clips. So don't be discouraged if it's not, doesn't come super easy to you the first time you try it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so remember barrel behind the section. Do a little half twist so you can prevent that kink. All right, let's do this bottom section. And for this bottom section, see how wide of a section that is and it gets a little thin up here? I'm just gonna take this top part away to just kind of give it a more cohesive section right there. So for this bottom section, since it's close to my neck, I always like to see hair kind of moving toward the neck and away from the face. So sometimes I curl by the neck toward my hair or sorry, toward my neck instead of away from my face. So I'm gonna put the barrel on the front of the section this time to go toward my face. And again, the reason we're doing that is to create a little bit of volume and fullness down by the neck so there's not any gaps in the curls. And then we're gonna go back to our regular 
away from the face. And again, I'm using this hand down here to kind of help twist the iron so I'm not relying on holding and twisting in this other hand. And notice how the way that I kind of partitioned and sectioned this out, it kind of makes it so that everything is, I could pull everything forward and do it where it's comfortable for my hands. And these are our last two sections right here. And then since we just did this entire side last after we did that first half, I want to let this cool for a little bit too. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did to the other and just do a light layer of hairspray to help it set while it cools. So then I'm going to leave it for just a few minutes so they kind of equal in the amount of time that they've been cooling for. All right, so now that I've let my hair kind of cool down and the curls set, I'm going to go ahead and run my fingers through it. Remember there's a little bit of hairspray in there so it could be a little bit kind of sticky and tangly, but running your fingers through it is gonna help minimize that, make it more touchable, and then we're gonna do a final spray at the end. So I'll just start out by kind of starting at my roots and kind of pulling out. And I kind of like to rough it up at the roots a little bit. And then sometimes I like to flip it forward, shake it out. And this kind of helps separate everything so that all the curls don't kind of twist together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the hairspray to finish it off. So I spray at the bottom and then I'm going to flip it. So I always have a problem with volume right at my roots. So just a little trick that I like to do in the salon is kind of put a little bit of hairspray on my fingertips and apply it right to the root. And that kind of helps just give me a little bit of volume back. All right guys, if you like this tutorial, let me know by giving me a like. Also, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure to let me know in that comment section and I make sure to respond to everybody who asks me a question. But make sure to check back at my channel weekly for tutorials and product reviews from the perspective of a professional hairstylist. My name's Lauren, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.